Sometimes how vast we think we are with our SQL or any technological tool is a function of the project we have faced. Welcome to Tech Mastery Hub with our guy Olede Jones again today. I'll be taking us on a journey with SQL as we look at common table expressions in SQL. Now, what are common table expressions? These are expressions we use in SQL to create a query from our table or tables in such a way that um, we make them look like temporary table. We use this so that what we query can be readable, it can be reusable, and it can be a recursive query sort of, I mean, a query that references itself along the line. Most often this is needed in our data I mean, analysis projects or web development projects. So I'm going to be showing you the details of how common table expressions are created, when they need to be created, and why they need to be created. Join me as we go on this journey together. So now we're going to look through how CTE works practically. I'm on Google Cloud, no, a big query, and um, I've exported, um, imported a, a database a sales a retail sales database as you can see this is what we're going to use uh, to examine to show how this works so just look through the screen as i walk along with this okay okay now so i've opened my big query you know uh, um, sandbox interface i've exported my database and um to write um uh, an sql cte it starts with but first now since we have opened this let's save um let's give it a name here yeah, okay now if you look on the side of the on the left hand side of the screen you see the saved query this is a saved query that I want to work with the CTE, as I've explained earlier. So now it usually starts with um, with retail. Now with the name as okay. Now I'm calling it retail. That's the name I want to call this particular part of the function. So with retail as. Just watch me. Now since we are referring to a particular database which exists. Database table with records which exists somewhere else already and is imported in here. But before then, let's quickly go and define what is SQL CTE. SQL CTE, the common table expression, is like a special bucket where you put only the good stuff from your data. Imagine you have a big list of um, lemonade sales, but some cops are messy, missing info or weird data. CTE helps you filter out the messy cups and focus on the clean ones. Okay, so this is what CTE is. Now let's break it down step by step and let's keep it um, simple by a relatable scenario. The context here is I have created a churn data analysis and data analytics. Okay, so now it's based on that data analytics that I'm going to create this CTE. So that I'll add context to it, else you won't, you know, really get how to apply it. You know, we don't want to work on vague, you know, basis. So now imagine you're running that lemonade store. Your goal is to keep as many customers as possible. That's in this context of um, churn analysis. Okay. So before you can analyze anything, you need to clean up your data. That's where CTE comes in. Okay. So essentially, CTE is we're keeping our table. A database table record as it is we want to filter it we want to clean it we want to fetch out certain things without messing with the original data that is the concept of cte okay and it's going to be reusable do you get it so we're not touching the main source at all we're just querying it and keeping our query intact that is what cte is so now Relatably, just look through the scenario I've painted on the screen. Okay, so now our um, lemonade bucket is the scenario here. The first bucket 
okay now so what city what the city aims to achieve the first bucket gives you record with real customers is having a list of loyal lemonade drinkers okay so now I want to filter out that's i'm making you understand the analysis where i'm going to apply this city we're going to filter out you know which customers drink this the most when do they buy it you know and how much do they pay that is exactly what i want to achieve with this city query i'll be you know showing us uh, here now so now that we we'll get the context we know what city is let's go back you know to our workbench so with retail as the first thing i want to do here now is i'm going to fetch out my records the required fields okay from the main table so watch me so we need to get um, the records that have customer id now we're dealing with a record here of over 500 000, you know a table with over 500,000 records okay now it's just a sales record that comes in random sales record that comes in randomly you know in an, an application so some records may have no customer ids we don't want to take chances so we want to work with the ones that have customer ids before we go on with further cleaning so i'm going to select these particular fields to work with there are many more fields in the table perhaps but um, these are the required ones for the purpose of um, this teaching okay so invoice number my stock code description the quantity the invoice date okay um let me also put um, the units price okay and um the customer id very important mm -hmm. i'm going to put the country okay now this is from as you can see we have that retail table that we have imported here already so i'm picking it this is the database name highlighted i mean this yeah the database name highlighted okay this is the table name do you get it so relatively this is where we're fetching from now on the condition where remember we want to fetch those that have customer id so on the custom and the condition where customer id it is is not equals to zero okay so this is the first thing we're doing and whatever query we fetch out of this is what we are saving as retail as we have called it at the top okay so let's go on now this is what we have fetched that's the result okay so just for analysis and for context we have um so so number of records returned you can see over five hundred thousand records were returned that have customer ids from the database okay also let's take notes oh sorry we have a total of five over 500 records and um this number of those records are the ones with customer id okay that means actually we realize some records without customer ids cool okay so now when we keep um the essence of this you know comments here is um when we keep this in mind you know it helps us you know to add um context to what we're doing and we see the end points eventually okay now because i want to put this retail this width retail that i've created to use you can see what i did here i put a comma after that bracket okay i put a comma there so i'm saying now with quantity and price what does that mean i want to query for that do you get it so you can see that i used width retail at the beginning here now whatever query i get as I mean, as a result and the result of the query i get in that chunk i'm now using it to create another chunk below which is the width quantity and price so now based on those that have customer id i want to also get those records only 
that have um, um, um the ones that have customer id the ones that have price and the ones that have quantity you know in the database so that's the next chunk so from the first i'm creating a chunk of the second now you see how that is related now remember the name of our table is retail good but now i've created um a cte called retail right okay it's going to be a little confusion there so let's change one of the names our table name is retail our cte is retail so we'll change one now hold on but what i'm trying to do here right now just hold on let me okay select stuff from the table name where quantity okay is greater than zero and unit price is greater than zero cool but now okay you can see because our table name is retail do we get let's put s for this one so that the next one we're calling from retails up not from the table okay so i don't need to pick my from from the database table i'm picking it from the chunk of the query that was created up above there now i don't know if we get the concept i queried something i'm referencing it in the next subquery as if that so initial one was a table you do you get so now this one i'm referencing now from the initial one that was named i've given it also a name which is with quantity and price that is the concept of cte now these chunks can go on and on and on for as many but now we have filtered out the customer this now let's run it look at what i'm doing here i want to see the outputs of the second chunk of the query so i say select star from you can see i'm referencing that second name with quantity and price as if it's a table name okay i preview it now i have results do we get so based on what i queried i queried the first one it fetched certain results that certain result is now acting like a temporary table which is actually not and i'm referencing the name i called that initial one in the second which i can use and i can go on and on and on now if i'm going to go further with maybe another chunk after this width quantity and price all i need to do after that i'm um, closed brackets down there is to put a comma and give another name as and write another query for as long as i want before i eventually put it to the final use you know with a select or anything i want it to be so for context let's take note initially we had um 500,000 over 500,000 total records when we filtered out those with um, customer id it reduced okay to 400,000 plus now that we filtered out those with um without um quantity and with um price we have um, a total of 397,000 plus okay records that has the values in customer id with um, um, um unit price and quantity so these are the records we want to put to use eventually in whatever we're doing and in our illustration in the analysis however don't forget i'm not going into the data analysis in this particular video it's just for us to have a context and understanding of where it can be put to use okay so now let us check okay you can see now i've put a comma after that second chunk after the bracket now we want to check for duplicates just to you know go ahead because these are over 300,000 records might actually have duplicates so let's check and fetch you know further queries to be sure we have a properly clean data now pay attention to the query here because i want to check duplicates in a single table 
I'm going to use certain queries that are a bit deep. So if you are not to conversant, pay attention. So beyond we learning CTE here, let's learn a few more things. I'm going to use partition. Okay. What do I mean? Work with me. Select all the records. That's star. Okay. Comma. Row number as a function in SQL. Okay. Just go on. I will explain all that. Now over partition the inverse number stock code quantity that means i'm using invoice number stock code and quantity as my partition what does it mean i'm checking through my records queried records so far and i want to make sure i'm checking invoice number stock code and quantity if these three are repeated, as in all three come back, it's a duplicate record. Do we know what I mean there? So invoice number with the same stock code, with the same quantity. There can't be such a coincidence. Do you know? If the invoice number is XYZ, we may have different stock codes on it. You understand? On the same invoice number. And incident coincidentally the same quantity but when on the same invoice number the same stock code the same quantity automatically we know that's duplication okay so now i'm going to order that by invoice date and whatever query i get from this row number that is partitioned and i'm i'm drop i'm duplicating a flag i will explain that okay you'll see how that works out so i'm going to it's like creating, you'll see, I say select star. I'm selecting all the fields I need already. Now, I'm not selecting row number. This is like creating, you know, for each record that is returned here, I'm, I'm creating a number that's going to be put into them. Do you get? So now, how does that number come in? It's going to be unique to this partition, as I've explained earlier, where these three fields are repeated so for any record that has this duplication we have record mm, mm row number one row number two that's going to be imputed there and maybe three if they are more than two okay now for the next set of record we start again row number one row number two and repeatedly so for anyone that has any record that has one two is duplicated the one that's not duplicated we only keep one one so we'll see how that plays out eventually so now we're fetching whatever query we're picking as a duplicate from that initial CTE with quantity and price that we created earlier at the top. So now we select, we want to check how many actually has duplicates when we finish, because we have finished this query now. So select count from check duplicates where dupe flag, remember we used it at the top here, equals one. Do you get so anyone that has dupe flag as two or three is duplicated? We don't need them, so we're we're returning only those ones with one. Do you understand? So anything else is duplicated. So now, do you get so the first chunk started the CTA, it gave back to the second chunk, which we reference, you know, when we're querying it by saying retails, not from there, our database table, okay? Then we wrote the third chunk and reference the second, which is the weight, quantity, and price. Do we get it there? So now, you can see how CTE works. It's creating something that is synonymous to um, a temporary table, that is also synonymous to a sub-query. But what makes the difference in CTE? What makes the difference in CTE is the fact that it's something we can go back and reference. It's something that is not altering our original source. Okay? It's something that, um, that um, what do you call it? It's recursive. Do you understand? So, now let's take some notes while we look at this. Now, we have the same number of um, records as, um, you know, we had earlier eventually that means there are actually no you know, um, duplicates okay but it's 
when we are doing data cleaning especially in data analysis it is always safer to check duplicates to check usable records that is what i have put only to use here we could go more and more depending on what the project is about but for the context of what we're using as illustration which is um, creating a churn data analysis this is basics of data cleaning which we're using with um, CTE in this context. Okay, so now take note, row number here, it's a function, okay? So the row number function is a window function actually, okay, that assigns a unique sequential integer to each row within the partition. Like I explained earlier, we have partitioned using three fields. That means any record that has these three fields repeatedly is duplicated so the row number is automatically going to assign unique sequential number one two three okay to each record that is duplicated and eventually remember we just need those ones that are one that means any other thing that is not one is duplicated that is the concept here okay also the partition clause there the partition clause divides the result into partitions based on the specified columns invoice number stock code and quantity do we get it so this is what you know partitions those records and make us know okay these are the three ones and three fields we're checking to see if there's duplication or not okay so now the row number function will now restart after each partitioning hope we get that the partitioning don't get is just like okay uh, repeat repetitions okay so when a repetition is not found the row number starts afresh or when a re particular repetition is finished row number starts afresh so the over you know there uh, in our partition we used row over partition what does that over clause really represent in sql is used you know in conjunction with that window function to define the window or subset of rows over which functions operates okay so that is um basically you know that part of it so we have learned what an, a, a cte is we have seen how to use it we have seen when to use it along the line we have had the privilege to learn how to use partition in sql okay just because we wanted to check duplication there could be other uses where we you know we can put um partitioning and all such things to use now because i use data analysis as an explanation does not mean partitioning or um, um what do you call it now cte is limited to data analysis when we're using it do we get let's put s for this one so that the next one we are calling from retails up, not from the table. Okay, so I don't need to pick my from from the database. So guys, that's it with common table expression. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video and our channel as a whole. If you keep enjoying our content, as we bring this to you weekly. Thank you for joining me once again on Tech Mastery Hub.